This corner. <laughs> what did you say about um, the force field that we couldn't see the guys around? Well, this, this bar was right. supposed to create an invisible right, right. field. And when somebody tried to get out, these things are, would kind of come mm -hmm. in just a little bit, mm -hmm. and they put it in effect mm -hmm. of like a little, like a little lightning kind of an effect wherever they touched the screen. But in general, it was just wide open like this, so the camera could shoot the actor completely clear. The actors come not, not obstructed at all. Okay, I love what you're doing right now. See, this is so great because you want to stop here because it's like you see everything from back here, right? <laughs> But notice if the wall was there, you're outside the set right now. And it kind of feels like a TV show. <laughs> you, can't you can't go in there. You can't get in there. Right? there. You can't walk into a television show. Yes, you can. <laughs> go ahead in, you guys. Okay, all you guys my age. Are you are you believing this? What's your age? You are what? What's your age? Sixty. You are on the bridge of the Enterprise. Did you ever imagine when you were ten years old? You were on the bridge of the Enterprise. What? Oh yes, absolutely. In fact, remind me. I'll tell you a fun story about that. Okay, some fun things about the bridge. First of all, remember how we talked about the angle of the light being incredibly important to the look of Star Trek. So we built this grid around the top so that it could be lit properly. Notice the chairs you're sitting on. Let's take a look at one of these. So this is an actual Star Trek chair. This is about as accurate as you're going to get. But even this chair, you guys, you know what it really was? This. Yeah. <laughs> it was it was a molded plastic chair. They probably bought at Kmart or Woolworth if you're old enough. Or you know, some they probably just sent some guy down to a store and said, Hey, go buy eight or ten of those cheap molded plastic chairs. So they brought them back to the studio. They painted them some weird robin's egg blue color that did not exist on the market. Made a seat cushion, cut some interesting back shape and upholstered it, and then probably grabbed some scraps of wood laying around the shop and cut triangles, glued them on the back. Why? Just to make it different, and suddenly look what you've got. You have a chair that doesn't exist anywhere else on the planet except in Star Trek. You can't go to a store and buy this chair. And it took very little to make it. With just a few little adjustments, you suddenly have a chair that doesn't exist anywhere on the planet, but on this TV show. Same thing with the captain's chair. This gentleman just said, I don't remember the wooden arms. The chair itself, the upholstered black chair and the arms, is an executive office chair from the 60s called Madison. A company called Madison built this chair. And they probably did exactly the same thing. They probably sent somebody down to Sears, or somebody sent, went down to an office supply store, bought a nice ro uh, rotating executive office chair, brought it back to the shop, and all they did was build this cradle around it, put some buttons and lights on it, boom. A chair that exists nowhere on the planet but in Star Trek. Now, when we shot our series, I took my chair home. <laughs> this is not my chair. Mine was an actual Madison, and all these buttons work. And when Ray took over the studio, I'm like, okay, you can have everything, but I'm taking the chair. <laughs> so my chair is at home. But uh, let's see. Another fun thing is the, uh, the view screen. When we shot Star Trek Continues, we had not yet built the view screen, that whole front section. That was all flat, flat ground. Like there was no platform here. This was all wide open. So people could get in and out very quickly. You could set up big dolly tracks and big camera moves and stuff and do what they did in the original series. Um, just about a year ago, yeah, year and a half maybe, um, 
the neutral zone raised enough money to actually build it. So this is exactly the, the, uh, the view screen from the original series. That's the exact scale. There are only two places on the planet that have a view screen, and the other one's not the right size. Because they thought it would be fun to put a TV screen there. Which is a cool idea, but it would have to be a 100-inch flat panel to fit into that space. And we decided that since we didn't have $12,000 to buy a 100-inch flat panel, that we would just make it to scale because, again, accuracy is most important. I want to apologize, too. We're working on these lights back here. They normally all work, and just this morning, one of the boards went out back there, so we've got somebody back there working on them. They're normally all lit up. Now, are you able to change the, the image? Yes, what you're seeing now is rear screen projection. Mm -hmm. There's a projector behind the screen, and we had our, our special effects guy from Star Trek Continues create this loop of orbiting the planet. So if you had the projector out of it, you could actually have somebody jump out and jump in out of the screen? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much. Well, in the future, maybe you can do that. I think it's possible. Anything is possible. Any questions? Anybody? Um, one second.